welcome back to another video. So I just made it home from a nice little lunch with a good friend. And so I thought, instead of taking a nap, which is what I really wanted to do, um, I decided to go ahead and film this video. So I really want a custom closet. Like that is the goal right now, is to get a custom closet. Y'all know I'm trying to get this house in order, okay? So I originally wanted a custom closet when I first moved in, right? But you know, the way moving expenses go down, honey, that just did not happen. God bless to say the same, that I have a custom closet um, starting and getting done by the end of the, like by the beginning, in the beginning of next year. So we're just gonna believe that it's gonna happen. Like, I don't even know what company I'm gonna go with yet. I just know I want a custom closet because this disarray in the closet game is not ideal. So yeah, so first thing first, I pop a freak all the honeys. <laughs> For me to get a custom closet and the whole transition be smooth, I need to clean out my closet, right? So I want to go ahead and thank Poshmark for sponsoring this video. They are going to help me clean out my closet. I'm gonna get rid of um, a lot of stuff and go ahead and put it on my Poshmark account and sell it for like little of nothing compared to what I got it for. So yes, if you guys are not aware, Poshmark is an app and a website that you can use in order to sell your clothes and now they do home decor and makeup that you haven't used, um, all of that you can sell on Poshmark and get a little bit of money back on things that you are no longer using. So that's the thing that I need to do. Like I have a bunch of clothes in my closet, honey, that I have not put on in six months, but yet I feel like I needed to pack them up from my mom's house and bring them here. I just have no idea. That's what we're gonna do today. Like my room is a mess. I have clothes everywhere. Honey, let me show you, let me show you this. First of all, we're gonna take a little trip to the laundry room, okay? These are the clothes that need to be put up. You know, I got drawers, bras, and stuff over there. Like, all of these clothes over here that need to be put up that I no longer had um, <laughs> hangers for. And then these clothes over here that need to be washed, girl. I mean, no, like, I had no space for it in my closet. So, I really need to clean that stuff out and move it to another room so that I can sell it. But girl, let me show you what this closet look like. First of all, I got like shoes everywhere. I'm, I mean, look at that one trying to peep. I got shoes everywhere. I got clothes from a photo shoot that I need to put up that I have yet to do so. Loose bras. And honey, this closet is everywhere. Like, look at the clothes up there. Just all of this stuff. And then like some boxes that I need to get rid of. Like, this is how I'm living. Clothes like hanger all out the wazoo and it's a few clothes back here behind the door like suitcase and stuff like all kinds of stuff that i need to go through and get rid of so girl you see my struggle first of all look at this floor jesus i'm gonna tell you now today's video is not about that floor okay <laughs> today's video is about me getting the clothes out of the closet that I no longer wear. So that is what we're gonna focus on. I'm gonna be focusing on getting a lot of these clothes out of here, going through here and creating a pile of what I need to sell on Poshmark. So I'm gonna have no less than 10 items um, uploaded on Poshmark by the time you guys watch this video. So be ready to head there. The link for my um, closet is gonna be listed in the description for you guys to check that out. But yeah, honey, I'm gonna go through all of this and get, girl, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna go through all of this and and just sell it, honey, cause I can't, I can't keep holding on to stuff. Like I got hangers in here that I need for dirty clothes that need to be washed since I moved in. But let's go ahead and get into this. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a whole, <sighs> Thing. I don't think I'm selling any shoes. Oh, I am selling some shoes. I just don't have them in here. But yeah, this is going to be a whole ordeal. Like, oh my gosh, I just have so much I need to get posted. But yeah, we can go ahead and get started on creating a pile for this stuff because I have no idea how I'm going to get this done. So let's talk a little bit more about Poshmark while we are watching this very satisfying portion of the video. Poshmark is the easiest way to sell items to clean out your closet. You can find amazing deals from thousands of brands such as my faves like Eloquii, ASOS, Kate Spade, all up to 70% off retail price. 
and honey home section just launched on Poshmark so you can go on there right now and um, look at some bedding and stationery and accents and everything else for your home and just start shopping and you can also get any uh, purchases over $500 of luxury brands authenticated from Poshmark to make sure that you are getting your money's worth on the luxury brand so girl if you are interested in selling or purchasing anything on Poshmark definitely go to the video description and check out the first link Link, download the app and really take advantage of this because it is a perfect way to make a little side cash and clean out your closet such as I am doing honey because I should have did this a long time ago but we're not going to get into that but yes guys let me know how you like this app and definitely enjoy all of your purchases difference but they these are the ugh, these are the clothes that I'm actually going to wear probably in the next few months don't pay too much attention to that <laughs> we're not gonna focus too much on that until we get this custom closet but yeah like all those pants that were over there are like gone um and then I had a few tops and jackets in here that I took out and then some long hanging dresses like a ton of dresses I took out as well because that like bar was about to <laughs> was like girl can you give me a break <laughs> but yeah this is where we are with um how things are looking in here right now um girl we finally cleaned out what needs to go onto Poshmark let me show you the pile okay these are the pile of dirty clothes that were just laying all about in the closet that um I just needed to sit to the side and put in the dirty clothes hamper honey this is the pile of things <laughs> That need to go onto Poshmark to get sold. And it, it I don't know if it looks like a lot to y'all, but it's like past my knees. That's how tall it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the items that are going to be put on Poshmark that are probably already on there by the time you guys look at this video. So first one gets the prize, okay? If you like any of these items, I'll just show you a few really quick so that you can see what they look like before you hop over to my closet and get your shop on so let me transfer these clothes okay so y'all i'm gonna show y'all a few of the items that i'm going to put on the account oh my gosh i'm so excited for you to see um so this first dress um i'm gonna pop a picture on here but this first dress is a dress that i wore to a wedding it is actually so gorgeous it was from rib dolls and it is absolutely cute. It's actually really good for um, a winter wedding. Um, I don't think this was for a winter wedding though, but yeah, this is that dress. It is adorable. And I think that one is in a size, and it has like a little V-neck back. I mean a V-back. It's in a 4X. I think at the time I wore it, I was a 22. So that one's that. Um, 
this like this nice dress this is a rachel roy dress and i did a little uh, shoot in this dress and have not worn the dress since <laughs> but it's actually very cute it has like some gathered up fabric in the middle but i'm gonna pop a picture for you guys to see that as well but it has all of that and it is absolutely adorable i got it from co-edition this nice cute fluffy feels so good um sweater is from shop chic soul you guys know i talk about them all the time especially if you follow me on instagram it feels so good but it is a little snug on me i just got this like this past week but it's a little snug on me so i'm just going to sell it um on poshmark and you guys can check it out there i have no idea where i got this is actually a dress i got from a boutique a very long time ago i'm talking about maybe like six years ago um i got this dress it is so cute it's like long it's like short in the front but very long in the back it's like almost like a train in in length in the back and it is so cute short sleeve well actually yeah short sleeve dress no sleeve dress and that one was cute if you guys shop at um lane bryant at all or you have been following uh, beauty curve rochelle johnson this is the dress from her collection from lane bryant that came out in the spring and i wore this dress shot in it and it was a little snug on me and there was something about the fit that i wasn't really fond of on me and i think it had to do with the size that i picked so this dress is going to be available on there and i have a picture to show you guys what that looks like so that's that and this dress is also where did i get this dress from i do not remember hold on let me see if i can find out oh this dress is from boohoo it's in a 20 so cute it's an off the shoulder long like medi sleeve well not long but like quarter length sleeve um dress i love the gold buttons on this black and it's actually a midi dress so it comes uh past the knee and like in the mid cap mid shin area so yeah that is this dress i think i have a picture of this one as well but yeah that is the final item that i'm going to show you guys but there will be a lot more to see on uh the poshmark app so definitely check in the description and go to my closet and you'll be able to shop these items plus more on my closet and also if you're ready to like get rid of some stuff out of your closet and clean your closet out definitely use poshmark honey because it is so easy and they actually tell you how much you're going to receive like if you price the item a certain price um it, they tell you how much money you would actually receive after they collect their fee so that is very useful um you know they're a business they have to make money but that is very useful for me when pricing if i want to make 15 dollars off of an item i can't just price it at 15 dollars. i may have to price it at 16.50 you know or whatever that is very helpful when trying to figure out what to price the item and you have to be very fair because these are secondhand items that we're purchasing so you can't buy it you can't put it on there at the exact same price that you bought it for like you're gonna have to knock down some dollars and be very fair with what you're selling it for so yes i am definitely gonna take some pictures of this stuff and put it up on poshmark oh so y'all know what i wanted when i first moved in let me go ahead and show y'all the plan that i wanted for my custom closet when i first moved in even though it didn't happen but we just gonna show you what it looked like okay so so this was the original plan for my closet so this is where you walk in and this was just going to be mostly shelves for my clothes like my boots and shoes and also some long hang hanging space because you guys know i had a lot of long hanging space and then i was going to have some drawers and a double hanging area above that some short hang short hang and some more shelves for shoes and purses and then a double hanging area would basically short hang on top and bottom and then i wanted to have a vanity on this side and some shelves right next to it as well so like i can do my makeup in my closet and everything like that so that's originally how i wanted to look but let's go into detail of like which area it was so this was going to be the view when you first walk into the closet you're going to have uh just flip it like the shelves are going to be on this side like this side will be on this side and this side will be on this side um when you first walk in but yeah i was going to have some 
shelves i mean not some shelves some drawers here for like my fold-up clothes like maybe some workout pants and my bras and panties and i told the uh lady that designed the closet i was like uh my bra drawer is gonna have to be extremely deep honey because you ain't seen these bras okay <laughs> <laughs> she was like okay <laughs> it's gonna be my bra drawers you know underwear and all of that and there's gonna have some short hang area above it and it also had the ability to have like one of those um levers that come out for you to hang your clothes on so that you can see your entire outfit so i thought that was cute and like some shelves here for like purses or shoes and then the double hang the double short hang area so it has that um that rod on both sides for me to like hang up my outfit and see how it looks together but um yeah this area i can like put my dirty clothes hamper here and have the short hang on both sides so i thought that was so adorable and i also have space for storage up top and i'm not sure if i'm gonna stick with this entire floor plan but this is exactly floor plan for the closet but this is exactly what it was gonna look like up top and the entire thing when you first walk in this was going to be the shelves behind the door the closet door so like when i first walk into the closet you look on your right hand side you move the door um these were going to be the shelves right behind there that um yeah, so I also needed to make sure that I had space underneath it for my um, wide with long um, thigh high kind of boots or whatever or calf length boots so that they can sit straight up and keep their shape. So yeah, that is that. And then of course, like a little bit of storage space up top as well. So like for shoes and purses, and I thought that would be a cute little corner for that shelf. This was also going to be on the right side of the closet as well. So I was going to have like where all of the long stuff is hanging now. That is the side this is going to be. So it was going to have long hanging um, area, which I think I may need a lot more space of that now that I've gotten into the home and lived in it for a while and actually like gotten clothes to store and stuff. I realize I have a lot more long hanging items. So then I do short. So um yeah i may need to kind of switch that up but it also has the same thing up top with the storage and it also had the double hang and i also like how it kind of had a few shelves i don't know if you could tell but it has like a few shelves above the long hanging area for you to um have some for me to have like some purses or shoes there i really thought that was cute the only um picture that i don't have for the custom closet that I want to do is of the vanity area. Like I wanted to just be able to have a vanity and of course my little skincare, um, skincare fridge. I don't know if you guys seen it, but let me show you. Like this is my skincare fridge. I've been having it in the kitchen because I don't have space for it in my bathroom. So and next to an outlet at least. So I um, just have been keeping it next to the coffee pot in the kitchen. <laughs> It rarely gets used because it's not in like the proper place. But all of my skincare, uh, a lot of the skincare that I like to keep cool is in there. Um, but I also would like to have that like on the vanity, you know, in the bathroom. I mean, in the closet so that whenever I get to do my makeup, if I want to sit down and do my makeup, it's kind of like a partial of a makeup room. It would be really helpful for me when like getting ready for a photo shoot or just you know every day so i thought that would be cute and next to it was going to be a ton of shelves um like vertical shelves and then some shelves up top over it as well and then i would have to get like a vanity mirror to bring in all the light and hopefully some kind of way i can add more light in the closet because the closet is extremely dark I, that is the one the darkest place in the entire house is the closet because there's not extra lighting i saw some um comments from you guys about like doing those lights that kind of stick on the wall and you can like press them and i think that is a good short term solution but i would love to just like be able to flip a flip a switch and have lights like and instead of like having to go and press lights everything is just about convenience for me i guess and just uniformity throughout the whole closet i would eventually like it to get there so that's my hope for the closet and i hope i can get this closet i pray you know we are going to speak it in existence we are going to get this custom closet in the beginning of 2020 at somewhere in the first quarter okay we're going to get this custom closet i put it on a video so god knows it's real <laughs> i have faith that we are going to get this custom closet the beginning of 2020 okay walk in faith 
thank you Jesus for it I'm so uh ready for that closet because as you can see it's in a disarray it's just like no motivation when you walk in there you look like girl I don't know what to wear I don't know where to look what to wear I just don't you know so I'll be excited to get that done but um I, I did go to a specific company to get those floor plans and I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that company um but if so then you know I'll just have a little tweaks here and there of what I will get done now that I've lived in the house and know exactly what I need as far as that closet is concerned yeah so I'll be shopping around for custom closets y'all if you guys have gotten a custom closet already please let me know the experience let me know who you use like how it was if you paid cash if you financed or whatever it is that you did and how you feel about your custom closet now because I would love to hear some awesome stories from some ladies that are out there that actually has had a custom closet or have a custom closet and how much you enjoy it because I can't wait to get that situation under control and organized but I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer I think this video was I don't think this video is too short I thought it was originally gonna be short but once I showed y'all what the closet design is kind of is and i think it kind of helped out the video link or whatever but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um like this video if you like it and subscribe definitely to get more vlogs and plus size lifestyle and fashion stuff from me i will also thank you again to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. And guys, don't forget to check out the Poshmark app listed in the description below. And also you can check out my closet and check out all of the things that I showed you guys and other things that I've posted and updated my closet with so that you can go and be the first one to shop. Girl, get yours, get your bag. Yeah, and <laughs> I think that's it for this video, y'all. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.